Hey friends, so in this video we will be learning how to insert value in combo box into database. Okay, so drop down list, right? So the drop down list value should be inserted into database. So, how to use drop down list and how to print the value in it and store into database. So, we will be learning in this session. Okay. So in last video we have seen that we have inserted the values how we have done inserted the values so you can go to my last video where you can see how it is inserted insertion of the value into database is done so in this video we will be using a combo box okay so before that uh, one id will give and one combo box will give so take one normal text box so I have here itself, I will copy this, copy it, paste it over here. So this will be my text box 7 it is right. So we will name it, go and go to its id, id, emp, id, okay. I will mention the this text box id as emp id, done. So I will take one label. Uh, label yeah label is over here so I'll mention this as <coughs> employee ID okay this will be my employee ID now we are entering one combo box drop down list okay so go to your toolbox search for the drop down list okay this is our drop down list drag and drop it here and resize the size according to your styles okay 24 pixel 25 so we have done this and we'll take on label and mention over for what it is there so i'll give this as gender okay go to its property mention over here gender okay so it's already one gender is there. We'll then rename it as age. Okay. A G E H. So we'll be able to enter the age value. Okay. So let's save this form. Now we have entered two things. Okay. This is drop down list one and this text box name is EMPID. Okay. So go to the button where you will insert the values okay so let's go for the coding part double click on this button okay so yeah after double click you will come into your code this code have been explained in detail in your previous video so you can go and search like how to insert data huh? into database using ASP.NET. you can see in my previous video so here we have in this form EMP ID we have given so at the first so we will declare that emp id at first so double quotes single quotes then double quotes then double ampersand between those we have to give emp id dot text ok so let's separate this uh, you have to separate this by comma okay so it's done here and we have entered one drop down list okay so we have to go and enter here down down list at the last because here in this form the last is drop down list box okay so it should be order wise so go into last and enter drop down list so double comma single quotes inside single quote double quote inside double quote ampersand okay so here you have to enter drop down list one dot text okay so this is our drop down list text and save it and enter in if condition okay so in this if statement we have to edit that 
emp underscore id dot txt that is equal to null or okay so you have to mention it is or and one more thing here at the end you have to mention that drop down list so or drop down list one dot txt okay is equal to null this drop down list one is nothing but your this drop down list value id okay so that's all in this now we'll insert some data so let's run the program it's loading so yeah so our form is loaded so let's check out for the gender see there is no data present over in this side so let's go back to the code okay then stop the program first yeah click here right click on the drop down list go to the properties okay so you'll find the details of this so here we have to in this drop down list click on that left click and edit the menus okay so you have to add the list that is inside this text that is mail okay m a l e mail enter then add one more female okay done so we are taking two box save this okay save the files go back to your chrome refresh the data okay refresh your data yeah now you can find two options okay so let's say uh, i'll give 103 data so first name okay xavier paul is phone number age and uh, whatever email okay gmail.com and we'll choose the gender as me so let's save the data insert the data so there is an error something over here so implicit conversion okay this is my database error so i'll go to my sql server and check out my error where is the error that is i'll go to my database we see mm, tables over here so that is your database where you'll take it as a mistake okay so i have given this gender as varchar i'll give varchar okay it was as binary so save that oops so the error is set now and, and let's go back to our code on um, google chrome let's refresh refresh let's run it once again okay so it's loading it's loading yeah now let's fill the form 101 i'll give the id employee 101 mohan kumar and his number something is 20 name gmail.com and mail okay let's save it yeah data stored successfully see the output we have got data successfully now let's go and check out that it has saved mail or female okay let's go back to the code stop the program go to your server explorer and click right click on the table and show table so here we'll check out 101 mohan kumar the value has been stored as mail okay so this is how we store the drop down value box okay 
the drop down value of this table okay so this is just uh, how to store the value of drop down list into database okay thank you for watching this video please like it share it and subscribe it please share even to your friends and let them subscribe me thank you so much Okay.